Sony announced today new mm -hmm. firmware for the F5, F55. Uh, what does it do for a shooter out in the field? Right, so as everyone knows, these cameras have been in the, in the market going on five years now. We've had significant firmware updates along the timeline, adding very powerful features in pretty much every case at no cost to, to the end user. So we're continuing that with version 9, and version 9 is going to support the new CBK WA100 adapter, streaming adapter, which it's a proxy encoder basically. So coming out of SDI to the adapter, you can record a separate proxy stream up to, I believe, 9 megabit, but it's configurable, uh, onto an SD card, and the metadata, the file naming, the time code, and other characteristics of the file that's being recorded in high quality on the camera is also translated over through SDI onto the recording in the adapter. So the advantage there is that you can either stream it via Wi-Fi or cellular network uh, or, and or you can FTP it. So the immediacy of getting the file out of the camera to the station or wherever it needs to go, but still having a robust uh, you know, linkage back to the high res that's being recorded on the camera, whether it's offline, online editing, dailies, you know, whatever you want to do, that workflow will now be enabled with version 9. So the other feature in addition to that will be adding extra frame rates above 60p when recording in, in um, uh, 4K RAW with the R7 recorder, uh, which will be 72, uh, 96, 100, and then obviously the 120. So before version 9, it was 60p, all the way up to 60p, and then you'd have to jump to 120p. Now with version 9, you'll have those incremental uh, uh, frame rates above 60p. And this but is, but only know, with the raw recorder on the back. Only with the raw recorder on the back. That's that's correct. Yeah, with the R7, the AXS R7 raw recorder, correct. So, and there's a few other little tweaks in, in version nine, as we always do with every firmware that that uh, enhances performance and, and and so forth. So that's the version nine firmware. And um, there's a new Kodak that came out with the raw recorder. Uh, XOCN. Right. Uh, explain what that is and, and what it means to people. Sure. So XOCN is a, a an implementation in the R7, the AXS R7 recorder, specifically in the R7. And what it is, it's a 16-bit format, so very, very high quality, especially for high dynamic range grading with, with, all, with all of the tonal gradations that 16-bit has. Uh, and it's, it's um, uh, extended uh, original camera negative, so 16-bit extended tonal range, original camera negative. The idea behind that was to allow productions that have to shoot an enormous amount of footage, like for example 0.0, .0 we were highlighting earlier uh, in New York, where they want to maintain 16-bit performance, but they need to have the files as small as possible. So the XOCN brings to the table 16-bit performance, but much smaller files than what you would typically have uh, uh, re recording RAW or, or even other 12-bit or 10-bit formats. So as an indicator, we have two levels of the format. We have LT, which is the lighter version, and we have ST, which is the, the standard version, the higher quality version. So LT and ST with XOCN. The LT is around 389 megabits per second for 24p. And again, that's, a, that's in 16-bit. So it's big claim to fame, 16-bit, very high quality, extremely small files, very fast to transfer, and very economical to work with in post-production. And if I popped it into my nonlinear editor, am I going to get a green screen, or, <laughs> or or do we have people working on this? Yeah, we do, we do. So all of the major players, we actively engage with all of the uh, workflow uh, vendors in the market, uh, whether it's grading, editing, you name it. Uh, if they're a major player and they have a lot of customers, then we, we interface with them on a monthly basis to ensure that they implement the format technologies that we release. Often those dialogues happen before we even release the, the format. So in the case of XOCN, it's pretty much supported across the board. There's a couple of exceptions here and there, but we're working on that. Uh, but Avid, Avid is supported, um, DaVinci Resolve is supported, Filmlight with the base light systems, um, Colorfront, and, and the list goes on and on. And, on, so. and, and this is limited to the F5, F55? It's limited to the F5 and F55 with the R7 recorder. You need the AXS R7 recorder. Yeah. So, so those of us with FS7s uh, aren't going to be seeing OCN anytime soon. XOCN uh, is for now Cine Alta with the F555, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, Peter. You're very welcome. Take care. All right, you're welcome.